One time out of ten Two times won't you be mine We just can't pretend This love thing can take time Three times then I'm in I heard through the grapevines You missing a playtime Girl Your beauty make them bow down I need that body right now Yeah mm-hmm. The love will never die down Together we can fly now So Baby don't you ever be afraid of fall in love with me Let me be your parachute Parachute I'll be right here by your side I'll be right here by your side Forever And no matter the ups and downs I'll be right here by your side Hi guys, good morning I am in Lagos <laughs> Guys, I landed yesterday Okay, I landed yesterday Thursday, this Friday Guys, I have been awake I have been awake since 3 This is 6 o'clock I've been awake since 3 a.m. Um, 3 a.m. Nigerian time is 6 a.m. Dubai time, so it just means I've been awake since 6 a.m. Dubai time, and that's the time I usually wake up around 6 a.m. Dubai time. So, my body is going to take a while to get used to the whole timing. Just know that I'm always going to be waking up by 3 a.m. every day in Nigeria because 3 a.m. is 6 a.m. and I wake up 6 a.m. in Dubai time, so yeah. So, I've been up since 3 a.m. and I've not been able to sleep at all. I have been trying to get ready for today because I have some things I want to do today and um, guys how is it still dark by this time <laughs> like it's so dark and everywhere is so quiet I love this place okay I love this place that I picked I am in my apartment or I'm in the apartment the Airbnb I paid for. When I'm picking an apartment, the first thing I look out for is the aesthetics. I love the I love aesthetics a lot. Like it has to be aesthetically pleasing for me before I'll decide to pay. Okay. And I picked this place and I love it. So I'm going to give you guys like an apartment tour. Uh I did like I recorded like few clips of the apartment. I'm going to insert it into this video and just show you guys what this place looks like. But it's a three bedroom apartment and currently I'm in the second room. This is not the master bedroom at all. The guys, hope this TV is not distracting you people. Else I'll turn it off. <laughs> this is not the master bedroom. Uh, this is like the second bedroom. I stayed in the master bedroom but I just came here to say hi to you guys because my fiance is also there and I don't want to disturb him or wake him up at all. So, yeah. And also, I think I'm going to keep my things in this bedroom because I like to have my own space. And this is like an extra room and it has extra cupboards. So, yeah, I think I'm going to unpack. I want to unpack. I actually wanted to unpack when I go back because I'm going out this morning. I want to get to the bank. And the bank I'm going to is not on the island though. I'm going to the one at Amuo, Amuo Duffy on the mainland because that's where my account officer is. And she just makes life easy for me. If you have an account officer, make use of them. They will make life easy for you. My account officer, she's so nice. Like whenever I have bank issues, like complaints, like she's just ready to solve my problem. So she just always makes life easy for me. So I know that if I go to any assets bank on the island, they may not answer me. They'll take time. But if I go to where my account officer is, go go her own branch. Once I enter like this, she she answers me. She does everything for me, and I leave. So that's what I want to do this morning. This is six. So I think by eight or by nine a.m. I should be on my way. I should be going to the bank, sort out bank issues. Then yeah. So I said that I wanted to come and unpack when I go back, but it's still early and so i can actually still unpack now and just arrange my things into this bedroom this is not where i'll be sleeping but every bedroom 
in this apartment has a tv and it's just so cool um so this is not where i'm sleeping like i've mentioned many times i'll show you guys what my room looks like that's the master bedroom but for now this is like another extra room and nobody's here so i'm just going to put i'm going to come and unpack my things and put make use of the extra wardrobes that i'm seeing here uh yeah <laughs> I just came in. I just came into the apartment now. I'm coming. Let's walk. Let's walk. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to disturb people that are in the house. So I just came in from the bank. Uh, not really. I, okay, well, I went to the bank. Then I sorted out everything. You guys, I'm finally free. You guys won't hear me complain about any bank thing again. Like, I finally did everything that concerns banking like I'm so happy I met a subscriber at the bank it was so cool that was like okay that was my second time meeting a subscriber the first time I ever met a subscriber was when I was in Abuja I don't know why I didn't mention it I think I forgot I really wanted to mention it but I forgot my last trip to Abuja I met a subscriber um yeah i met a subscriber when i went to that museum and it was so cool so now today again i met another subscriber at the bank and i didn't even know how to act i'm so shy <laughs> forget that i'm talking like this so if you see me outside guys i i promise you i will be like this i'm like hi <laughs> i promise you that's how i'll react at first then if we should start you know talking and exchanging words like and I get comfortable, you know, but at first I'll just be like, hello. <laughs> As if because she was like, Are you the Huma? I was like, hey, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> like not in a bad way, like in a good way, in a good shy way. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not dressed for this. You know when you're not this is how I literally. Li this is how I looked. Literally. <laughs> Hair all messy big trousers <laughs> i'm trying to mind she'll be like this is not the yama this is on youtube <laughs> because this is how i legit looked like guys like <laughs> 
so I was like, yeah, it's me, it's Ioma. And but she was extremely nice, like extremely, extremely nice. And all both of us were also hustling for bank things. So bank will not kill us in this Nigeria. Like some banks can really frustrate you. Like we were both there because we had one or two things to do. Like we were complaining. <laughs> Anyways, from there, I went to the warehouse to pick up my goods. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm officially going to be handling my orders while I'm in Nigeria. You know, I have staff, I pay people to do all of those things. But this time around, I went to the warehouse, I picked up a um, few goods and I brought them to the house because I want to handle my business while I'm here. Like, I don't see any reason not to handle my business while I'm in Lagos because I'm, I'm going to be here for a while. So I want to do it by myself. And I actually do miss it because you guys, some people may know this, some people might not know this. I used to sell um, makeup before, like I used to sell cosmetics before I moved into perfumes. I used to sell powders, foundations, lip gloss. Like if I, I knew everything, I knew like makeup products a lot. Although I didn't know how to apply the makeup shower. That was then, but I used to sell it. And this was like four years ago, 2019. So 2019, 2018, 2018, so 2018, 2019, 2020, I, I was always handling my orders myself, packing my goods, um, giving it to the riders, doing all of all those things, attending to customers complaints. I did that for about two years before I grew into, um, before I gave birth to Bigal and before it was called Oma Beauty Store. You guys, we have been hustling this hustle since before we came to this stage, this level, this hustle don't taste. Since I was in the university, guys, since I was in Obafemi Alo University, OAU. So, uh, basically, I was always handling every area of my business from sales to marketing to logistics. It was just me before I got to this stage and I'm able to hire people to do all these things for me. So, I told them that I'm coming back, okay, and I don't want them to you know do anything again let me be the one handling it let me be the one talking to customers let me be the one packing the orders let me be the one signing on the orders let me just be the one doing everything because i have missed it and it's what i used to do before i was able to hire people so i went to the warehouse i picked up um i picked up what did i even pick up i picked up um one box of no two boxes of goddess one box of passion and one box of seduction so basically when i'm done with this set I'll get more from the warehouse. So let me show you guys. So, so this is what I'm talking about. Um, inside here, we have the goddess here. As you can see, then I think this is also goddess. Then down here, down here we have seduction. And we have passion. So I'm going to work with this for now till they finish. Here is the paper bag. Let me show you guys. The paper bags are here. So these are our paper bags. Um, yeah. These and the one um, inside our white. Inside our white box. So basically, what I want to do is Friday. Yeah, I think I mentioned that. This Friday. Um... Okay, back to my face. <laughs> so, oh, it's, it's too close. What's this better? I'm so tired, guys. But I think I want to pack some orders now because um, we have some. We have people that have placed their orders via the website and through DMs too. Um, what I want to say, Seth. Yeah, and they want it tomorrow. Usually, we don't deliver on Saturdays, but... I'm around now so I really don't mind delivering on Saturdays so I just want to pack these and get it ready for the rider so when the rider comes I'll just give it to the rider and that will be it um, also this is an opportunity for you to shop from my store because I'm the one handling the business page right now so um, as you're watching this and you want to buy goddess passion seduction anything you want to buy shop now and say hi to me i'm currently i'm currently on the business page okay and the one handling is no longer the girl that was doing it for me it's me it's me so <laughs> so you want to say hi just say hi <laughs> just say hi and make sure you're saying hi and you're placing your orders okay say hi ihoma i want to get Seduction, hi, I want to get goddess. I'm the one, I'm the one handling it, okay? Um, yeah, that's it. I want to eat. I'm, I'm not eating. I've not eaten. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna get something to eat now. 
So my food is here. I'm a fried rice girl. I know. I know some people are going to come for me. But <laughs> I'm not saying that I don't like jollof rice. Okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that when you give me jollof rice and you give me fried rice, Ehoma will always pick fried rice. That's, that's all I'm saying. It doesn't mean that I don't like jollof rice. But if you give me jollof rice and you give me white rice, then I'll pick jollof rice. You get. Or you give me jollof rice and you give me pasta, I'll pick jollof rice. But when they just come side by side, like jollof rice and fried rice, I'm going to pick fried rice. I'm a fried rice girl. I'm sorry. Yes, I said it. I said it. I'm not going to get cancelled. I know I'm going to get cancelled because because everybody just loves jollof rice. But guys, look at this. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. How will you see this and pick jello fries? How? How? <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe, bro. I know some people are going to <laughs> some people are going to go for me. Please do not unsubscribe. I beg you. It's just preference. It's just what me I like. Please. <laughs> okay guys, so this room is finally free. <laughs> so this is the master's bedroom. Forgive the untidiness. People are actually staying here. <laughs> So this is my room this is where i sleep but my things are not here i unboxed my things into the other room like i said before so basically i love this place this place is so fine like this place is extremely fine this is the dressing table i've already sorted out all my makeup into this place already um what do we have here okay yeah my stuff are also here and then the hair dryer is here then i have my own this year and skincare and stuff so this is the toilet and the bathroom the toilet the shower the sink that's it i don't have any tripod stand so this angle is extremely terrible and i'm trying to set up the camera so that you guys will be looking at me from under I don't know what to do. I'm thinking of using the pillow. Okay. Uh, better, I guess. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Saturday. I am going to Judith's house. I don't know if you guys know Judith, but Judith is my friend, my girl. I call her my husband. She's the love of my life. <laughs> Jesus, if you're watching this, don't let your head so please. So this is me just trying to get ready. I don't think I want to do makeup like that because I'm not in the mood yet. I haven't gotten to that stage yet where I want to be doing makeup in Lagos. So I think I'll just draw my brows, use my normal foundation things, blush, and I'm out.
I also need to do this hair. I haven't fixed this hair, okay? I just wore it now, so I still need to coil it and just make myself look presentable because right now I look so weird and the hair is not giving what it's supposed to give right now. So that's going to be the last thing I'll do. I feel like you guys are bent. Like, it's not straight. Ah, oh God, guys. I need to get a tripod stand in this Lagos. I really, really need to get one. Um, I have two. That's the annoying thing. I have two in Dubai. Like, two. And I didn't bring anyone because I was carrying a load. You guys saw the load I carried now. So, there was no even space for any tripod stand. So, now I, I, have, I want to buy here. So, if you guys know anyone that sells, please tell me in the comment section. Um, I'm ready to buy here. And when I'm going back to Dubai, I'll just leave it here or something or give it out. I don't think I'll take it with me because I already have two. I know, yeah. So, basically, I just want to go and spend some time with Judith. Just do a ball. <laughs> do a ball, catch her up, and you know, just see how she's doing, see her baby, Andre. So we're supposed to leave the house. Oh, I didn't tell you guys that Wumi is here. We're supposed to leave the house. He said 12. Oh. He said 12. This is already 12.44. This is the foundation tint I was telling you guys about. It's not. Let me show you their foundation. This is their foundation. So, and this is the tint. So, this is the one I used to just get that glue that I talked about in my last vlog. I don't even know the time I'll come back to the day, but I know that there's going to be traffic. Because I'm in Lagos. I'm in Lagos, and there's always traffic in Lagos. Guys, we missed out my hair. Just see, the hair. <laughs> Just see the magic she did, guys. Like, you guys saw how it was looking oh, before. Them yeah, before. yeah. You guys saw the before. It was me that did this, so. Tell her to go and open shop. <laughs> see ya. I said that I'm going to open salon next <laughs> She should open shop because what is this beauty on your screen right now? Like, cut it over me. See, and she still has strength to do our own. She's doing our own. Actually, I look key and very like styling. My fucking my umbrella here. Yeah. Yeah. Look at my Instagram. Check my explore. You definitely see something about styling here. Even in my saved. What was it called? It's because I discovered I had too many wigs and they were just wasting because <laughs> since they were always the same style or being under it's utilized for the most part. So I, I like it. See, we are doing too much. <laughs> white and white. Twinning. We're twinning. With blue jeans. Twinning. Do you have any straightener that is already plugged? I have straightener. Is it plugged? No, it's not plugged. But here, wait. Hi guys, good morning. Today is Sunday. I this is six o'clock. I don't want to raise my voice because people are sleeping in the house and I'm the only one awake. So yeah. Um I've been trying to edit this vlog because I want this vlog to go up today by 4 p.m. Yeah. Uh the thing is I feel like I did so many things from Thursday to today and I don't want it to like move into next week then I'll not have to be joining everything I did next week with everything I did from Thursday to Sunday to get so like the vlog is just going to be like too long like maybe like one hour long and I don't want to do like one hour long vlogs yet so I want to just finish everything that I did for this week like me landing on thursday and me going out on friday going out on saturday doing things settling down so i just want to like put everything i just want to upload everything today so that tomorrow which is monday beginning of a new week you know we start all over again and i get clips from next week then i upload on sunday so you guys get like i don't want to join everything together it's going to be just too long so that's why i'm uploading again today even though i uploaded on thursday so i've been editing the vlog that's what I'm doing now. Um, I think I'm almost done. Honestly speaking, I am that fast. I could use two hours to edit a vlog and that's it. So the time I used to use two days to edit a vlog. But now I could use like an hour. Now sometimes I've used... There's a time that I've actually used 30 minutes to edit a vlog, yes. That was like my, my highest score record. 
at least 30 minutes to edit the vlog. I started editing this vlog around 5.30 and this is 6.18 already. But I think I'm almost done. I'm so hungry. The only thing I've had this morning is these chips that I got from Judith's house when I went there yesterday. She gave me these chips and I love it. That's the only thing I've had to eat. So, um, I'm just going to finish editing this vlog. Upload it by 4 p.m. And I know that I'm done with this week. Like, I'm done for this week. Then we're going to enter a new week and start all over again. Vlogging and stuff. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video was really fun. I don't know. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.